Welcome back. We will now start our final talk before the lunch break. And I will hand over to Alex with a talk on the current state of Linux and more specifically Debian on the M1 and M2 Apple hardware. Good morning, everyone. I will tell you something about Debian on Apple M1 and M2. We go through these steps with you, or you, what it is. Uh, some statistics, history, why no M3 support is there. Uh, I just checked yesterday and will tell later. There is a magic surprise and questions. Um, Apple started with uh, M68K and they migrated successfully to PowerPC, later to Intel, and now they are on their own uh, CPU based on uh, ARM64. <coughs> and Asahi Linux officially does uh, Fedora now, but we want Debian. So there is a group of people um, packaging the packages that are needed, and there are already many users of it. Um, Glanzmann created an installer, uh, the one that you tell net to and downloads a bash script, and that, that one downloads another shell script, and that one downloads a Python script. And the first step is uh, resizing the partition of, on macOS, and then you run the installer. It's about maybe one hour if everything works fine. Um, it's eight people working on Asahi Linux. It's all very well documented on, they have IRC web pages and the sources are on GitHub. And I have a, uh, link about the future, uh, recent post. I'm sorry I don't have a QR code, it's a bit long, but I will put the talk to, to my Git, GitHub and you can copy paste. Statistics. I think we skipped that because it's not so very interesting, but the interesting part is the, the very on, on the low one. Um, ARM, the ARM build demons for ARM64, they, they are like on 99%, like uh, most software. I, I mean, for me, I, I used uh, seed.ethz.ch uh, as a build machine, which has unstable and about 9,000 packages. And I listed those packages and moved them over to bananas and I was able to install like most of them, and they are working. Why is there no M3 support? I've put together the links. The short answer is um, Markan wants a Mac Mini for CI, but uh, there is no Mac Mini with M3. The M4 was already announced for iPad, you, I think you can order it, but iPad is iPad. not so interesting. And we are waiting for more hardware to have M4. And the documentation about specific hardware support, that's the bottom two links. One more thing. So I've always been unhappy with Debian not being popular. No wonder there is no commercial for it after all. So I tried to put something together. It's not finished. In no time. Um, I'm not sure I want to show it now or not. <laughs> okay, but you promised to install popularity contest. And then we, we head over to the questions. So I didn't even export it from Shotcut, but uh, I can play it 
And I have a voice recording, but I wasn't able to to get it inside. So here is the player. What is this Linux uh, user interface you use? <laughs> <laughs> the problem is I need to reboot, and it takes like two minutes, and I just didn't I get to it. Not, this is not that that you are you are true. I'm very sorry. This is my work laptop. They have a very long password to to re I have to type and I just didn't get to reboot it. I will do it right after the talk. So let me find the voice. Start the voice at the same time as the video, and it will probably mess up with the uh, high, uh, uh, sound levels. Engineering from zero to oh, 50 I... and beyond. Ah, paused. Okay, and I need to find the play button here. Ah, yeah, right. Okay, and I start both at the same time. Introducing the new Debian. Engineering. The plan was. Infinity and beyond. Debian will run until you break it. From stable to experimental, with a cherry on top. Debian defeats competitors. Reliability is its second name. Security and efficiency have a totally new meaning. Uncountable horsepower, cow powers too and ponies, and lolcats. Buy yourself some freedom. Buy Debian. <laughs> Debian. More freedom for less money. That's it. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the idea was to really have recordings of people running uh, free software on Debian. But I just, I mean, how many days are we here? It's, it's just not done yet <laughs> but something like that is what i plan to do questions uh, <clears throat> just a second yeah i'm uh, i'm not sure to understand what's the difference between arm 64 and uh, is it a new port, or is that just just an installer which then uses ARM64, or how is that how is that related? The, the architecture ARM64 is already there. You can run Raspberry Pi ARM on ARM64. It's just very slow. There is also server boards with ARM64. Um, it's not a new port. The, pro, uh, the point is uh, the hardware support and drivers for Apple-specific hardware, that's what the Asahi Linux does, and they are relying on the ARM64 existing port. So, did that answer yeah, the question? Just, just to get an... From the of the Apple, it is ARM64. Yeah. Okay. And, oh. and uh, I, I forgot telling about the booting. There is a mini m1n1 written and uh, there is a there's also a wiki entry on apple m1 and there is a link to the to the trial to get a mailing list i think i have to contact someone else afterwards to get a mailing list because the packages are maintained not inside the a team really Kind of a related question: Are the those custom drivers for the um, M-related hardware are they um, in a custom kernel or are they Debian packaged? 
the the kernel is not yet mainline from Debian. There is the this Glansman who forked the Asahi to do his changes, and we, we use the, the the Glansman kernel at the moment. But people are trying to get the kernel running, and and uh, it, there is some some success, but not yet ready. Do we have lightning talks tomorrow or no? Uh, because if we do, someone should do this lightning talk about Asahi Linux in a way like what have Romans ever done for us. So aside from different kernel drivers and the bootloader, what is the difference between Debian ARM64 and Asahi Linux, for example, that sort of thing? <laughs> so it's not a question, it's just like someone should do this lightning talk tomorrow. Um. I don't think there is big difference. Asahi has a un, uh, different systems link where other distributions have Asahi Linux. It's just. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I see. Are there any more questions? One more, what's the hardware support of that? Is that just uh, uh, the Macs or is that also uh, iPad and iPhone and i whatever? Everything that runs Mac OS, but the Mac Pro is not supported yet. But otherwise the laptops, pretty much almost everything works. Um, video over the USB-C, the, the Airs don't have a HDMI connection they cannot uh, use external display. No iPad. Uh, no iPad, no. Any more questions? So thank you, Alex, for your introduction to the Apple hardware. Thank you.